Well, uh, good evening. Uh, it's great to have you with us again. Um, so tonight, uh, we're doing something a little bit different uh, in that uh, we're aware that at the moment with, um, with the whole COVID-19 thing going on and there's not been able to meet together in the ways that we, uh, we love to and that we're actually used to, certain aspects of church gets a little bit difficult. Uh, now, we as a church do our communion service once a month, and, uh, and if you were able to join us uh, last month, uh, we were in the midst of Easter, and so as part of Easter, as our Monday Thursday, we decided to take communion. So this evening, that's what we're actually going to be doing. So we're going to be uh, spending quite a bit of time uh, just going through and just enjoying some sung worship uh, as we would do usually, and so there's many of you uh, who are used to joining us on that journey. And so I just want to encourage you just to use the words that are going to be on the screen uh, and just sing along with us because this is uh, definitely not uh, a, a, a performance. This is actually just us attempting to lead you at home in a time of sun worship. But in the middle, we're going to actually uh, do a time of communion. And so I've just got some bread here and I've actually just got some wine. Uh, but uh, I just want you to grab whatever you've got uh, available. If you've just, if it's literally just medium sliced white bread, it doesn't matter. Uh, go and grab it. If you want to pause it to go and do that, this is the beauty of doing this at home is you actually got that ability to do that. Uh, and it doesn't have to be wine. Um, if you were to come to our church, uh, we tend to do it with uh, Welch's grape juice. I mean, that's the secret ingredient. Uh, if you've ever wondered what it is that we're using, that tends to be it. Sometimes we also, uh, as, a, as, as a, on occasions, we will also have alcoholic wine as well. And I have said this before. Uh, if Jesus was to be doing it now with his friends and in the kind of culture that we're in, you know, where actually we're all about sugar-free drinks. Uh, and as he's sitting around a table, if it wasn't an alcoholic drink, it could be something like, you know, Coke Zero or Pepsi Max or something along those lines. So literally, honestly, whatever drink you're drinking, then I just want to encourage you to use that. And let's face it, this is symbolic. And the point is that it's symbolic. Uh, and that, that as Jesus kind of tore the bread open, he's using something which is just everyday life items and going, let me teach you something about the kingdom of heaven. And he does it all the way through his ministry. And so essentially, communion is just that. Uh, and so, uh, so as we get to that point, uh, I want you, now if you're with your families, if you're with your loved ones, let's do this together. Um, and uh, as we get to that part, we've got some, uh, some liturgy, uh, which is just a really fancy word for uh, just some prayer to help you. And there's going to be different uh, uh, parts as we get to that. Uh, and so because my beautiful wife, Nick's going to be singing uh, with us and actually also uh, helping us with the, uh, the lyrics on the screen. When we get to that point, uh, I'm going to say the words that are uh, in italics and, uh, and she's going to read out that that's in bold. And that's going to be for you to use at home. So that gives you an idea as to what we're going to be looking at. Uh, we've chosen to do this a little bit earlier. Uh, we put that out onto our uh, social media just to say that uh, if you're anything like me at 7 o'clock, you're going to want to know what, uh, what Boris is going to be unveiling. Or more to the point, probably not. I think we've hyped it up to be something far greater than it's actually going to be. But So we're going to be over and done with by 7 o'clock this evening. Uh, we've got plenty of worship songs, but we may just cut them out as we go through just to allow on time. So that's our service. That's what we're going to be doing this evening. Um, so, I uh, just want to encourage you, just now, in this moment, in this place, just to say, God, you know, for this next half an hour, 45 minutes, I just want to worship you. And so, let's just, let's just do that. And that starts by us just saying, Lord, I'm just pressing pause and all the craziness that's going on around me. So, as usual, we're just going to pause, take a moment of silence. And in that silence... Just put away all of the all of the, the, the manic thoughts, all of the other stuff that's going on and saying, Lord, I just want to worship you tonight. Just focus on him. And I'm going to open in prayer. And then we're going to go through a, a mixture of some well-known songs and some not so well-known uh, Christian worship songs. So let's just, let's just do this now. Jesus. 
Jesus here on this Sunday evening. We just come before you and we just say, Lord, you have our whole lives. But Lord, for this next 30 minutes, 45 minutes, Lord, we just say, this is all for you. Lord, may the words we sing not just be words that we sing, but Lord, may they be our hearts cry. Lord, as we look to you, as we call upon your name, Lord, we worship. Lord, as we use these songs to help reflect on what we're about to do, Lord, we just say, come, have your way. We ask in Jesus' name.
look at exactly what you did on that cross for us, Lord, and how you chose to lay it all down. Lord, we can't help but just take a step back and say, God, we are so privileged to be able to worship you. Lord, that invitation is still open to us today, Lord, to, to give you all of our worries, to give you all of our anxieties, to lay them at your feet. Lord, when we have the strength day by day to worship you, Lord, when we don't, when we feel weak, through that penalty that you paid on the cross. Lord, we become clothed in your righteousness and it is your strength that sees us through the day. Christ is 
thank you for joining us so far on this journey. So as explained at the beginning, if you just jumped in and joined us now, um, then uh, tonight is our uh, communion service. And so as part of our communion service, uh, we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, and that is, as you can see uh, to my left, your right, um, we've got some bread and some wine. Um, and we're just inviting you at home to join us on this journey. And uh, so if you need to, uh, you've been given license to press pause at any point during this. Uh, and, uh, and to be able to uh, just go and get the stuff <coughs> sorry, that you need. And, uh, and so uh, we're using um, a nice chunk of uh, bread and, uh, and a little bit of wine. But grab whatever you can that symbolizes a, a liquid. And, well, that is a liquid, not symbolizes. That is a liquid and it is something that you can tear and eat. Uh, because it's, it's basically is Jesus doing his usual thing. This is such a Jesus thing. He basically takes something on the table that, uh, that actually just is a normal item and then goes, hey, let me teach you something about the kingdom of God with this. And this is exactly what he does here. So, um, so I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be reading um, that that's behind me. And hopefully at home you can actually see this. Um, and uh, Nick's squinting at her phone to double check that you can. Uh, it's, it's quite small, I've been told, but uh, yeah, apologies on this front. Um, so, uh, but if you can, join in. Um, and if not, then just let the words of this kind of just uh, sweep over you. Um, and I'm going to read uh, the words that are in italics, and, um, and you're going to be reading the words that are in bold. Uh, has that worked? I've zoomed in a bit. Uh, my my wonderful wife has just zoomed in, so hopefully you might actually be able to see that now. Um, and so, uh, so yes, I'm I'm going to read uh, that that's in italics, uh, and Nick's going to read uh, that that is in bold. Um, and if you can at home, I'd like to invite you to join in with this. Come, all you who are loved by God, come, and be fed with the food that gives that He gives freely. Come and quench your thirst from the waters of life. Come and let your spirits be filled again with the goodness of your creator. Lord God, giver of all good things, we hear your invitation. We see your gifts of life and grace. We have come, we have tasted, and we know. God, you are good. Amen. O God who embraces us in mercy and acceptance, we recognize those places in our lives where we have been hurt and rejected. And we offer them to you. We recognize those times when we have hurt and rejected others. And we offer them to you. And we recognize the ways that we have failed to believe in your forgiving power. In the name of the one who died, who said, Father, forgive them. We pray that you would cleanse and heal us and help us to live in the strength that comes from your love. Amen. We believe in God. The maker and lover of all things. We believe in God. The one who comes near and rescues all people. We believe in God. The one who gives life to every creature and fills us with strength and love. Amen. You have promised to be near us and to listen to our prayers for ourselves and others. And so we pray for the world, torn by hatred and division, broken by poverty and disease. Let your mercy fill our world. We pray for our country, fractured and torn politically, shaken by uncertainty and distrust. Let your mercy fill our country. We pray for our families and our communities, places of celebration and suffering, places of joy and grief. Let your mercy fill our families and our communities. And we pray for ourselves with so much need and so much pain, with so much hope and so many dreams. Let your mercy fill us, O oh God. Amen. Come, all you who are loved by God, 
Come to the table of the Lord. Come and eat food with no cost. Come and drink with no money to pay. We come to eat, to drink, and our hearts are glad. Yes, dear Lord our God, our hearts are truly glad, and we are filled with thankfulness, because in your great love you did not abandon us to the dark and fearful places of the world, but in Jesus you came to us to rescue us, to restore us, and to give us new life. And all who are tired and burdened, all who are frightened and unsafe, all who are sick and broken can come and find new life. We remember the way that Jesus showed us his love. On the evening before he died, he had supper with his friends. During the meal, he took a loaf of bread, gave thanks for it, broke it, and then passed it around with these words. This is my body broken for you. Eat this and remember me. And after the meal, he took a cup of wine, gave thanks for it, and then passed it around with these words. This is my blood shed for you. Drink this and remember me. And now every time we eat bread like this and every time we drink wine like this, we remember Jesus and his everlasting love. So at this point, uh, at home, we've just said these words. This is exactly what Jesus did. So we're going to now, Nick and I are going to take communion. You're just going to watch. Uh, but I actually want to encourage you at home not just to watch, just to grab some bread, even if you're just sitting on your own. And it's nothing more than a glass of water and a little bit of bread. doesn't matter. But I just want to encourage you right now to take part in this as we say, God, we are so thankful for the sacrifice that you paid for us. And as we eat, we're taking part in that welcomed into the journey and adventure with God. So let's do this. Heavenly Father, as we just take bread and wine, Lord, taking part in something <coughs> that dates back to nearly 2,000 years ago when you sat down with your friends. But Lord, the breaking of bread and the raising of the toast goes even further back than that. And Lord, as we just begin to just remind ourselves, God, of how incredibly privileged we are to be able to take part in such an incredibly rich tradition, Lord, we with brothers and sisters around the world, Lord, just come to you this evening. Lord, we ask for forgiveness of all the things that we have done wrong. Lord, as the incredible words that we just spoke declared. And Lord, we come to you recognizing that we cannot be perfect on our own. And so, Lord, we thank you for that incredible sacrifice that you took upon yourself in order to welcome us into your family. So Lord, with grateful hearts, Lord, we come to you and just say, Lord, thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.
This is a, a new song. This morning we uh, spent quite a bit of time looking at how uh, Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. If you missed that, then I just uh, want to encourage you just to uh, to go and uh, check that service out. And uh, we just thought actually it's really good just to declare some of these truths uh, about this. So this song is called The Way.
new horizon And I'm set on you And you meet me here today The mercies that I knew, yeah And all my fears and doubts They can all come to Cause they can't stay slow And I believe you are the way Lord, as all these MPs gather to prepare to give us some news, Lord, I just want to pray for our nation, and I want to pray for those who are in charge. And Lord, it's so easy for me to pass the blame, for me to point out all the things that they've done wrong in this journey, to point out the things that I disagree with, and to place blame firmly at certain people's feet. Lord, that doesn't help. Lord, I don't want the responsibility. Gosh, I would not want the responsibility for running this country. Lord, I can barely deal with the responsibility of leading a church. So God, I just want to come now. I just want to lift up our leaders. Lord, with so many voices speaking to them. Lord, so many different facts coming in. So many big decisions to make. Lord, I just want to ask that you would grant Boris and those that speak to him, Lord, the ability to listen to the correct voices. Lord, I ask for your divine guidance. And then, Lord, I just want to lift up us as the British people. Lord, as we uh, just are the ones that are left in the wake of each of these decisions, trying to work out our best to be able to live our lives. Lord, grant us wisdom, Lord, when it's frustrating to be trapped in our houses, to be unable to see the ones that we love, Lord, to be able to hang out with friends that we miss, Lord, for us to be able to go places that we wish we could. Help us to do what is right. And Lord, if we're told to stay home, then Lord, may we stay home. If we're permitted to do little bits more than before, Lord, let us not take advantage and just go crazy with it. So Lord, in the midst of all of this, we lift up our nation, we lift up our communities, Lord, we lift up those who are on the front line that are caring, Lord, that are doing all the jobs, Lord, to, you know, in order to keep us alive and awake. Lord, we just want to thank you, God, for that. Lord, so we just come to you and just say at the end of this service, Lord, we are so grateful, thankful, Lord, for what we have. And uh, Lord, as we look to this next week, Lord, grant us abilities to uh, share your good news with those around us. Lord, we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us uh, this evening. If you would like to discuss any of the stuff that you've heard, if you'd like to talk through any of this with us, then please drop us a message, uh, and we will be privileged to walk this journey with us. But uh, on behalf of... Uh, of us at Four Oaks Baptist Church. Uh, we hope you have a fantastic week and that you and your loved ones are safe.